Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you're an oldie but a goodie. In today's video, we're going to be doing some spring cleaning. I'm going to be putting out some Easter decor and just doing some basic cleaning around the house. I know a lot of you have been asking about the cleaning videos, so I'm super excited about this one. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna be in the play area first and we're gonna be replacing this rug. I really just wanted to do something new and fresh in the space and just change it up. So we're gonna take this rug up and put a new one down. Now that everything's off the rug, I'm gonna vacuum it really quickly and I'm just gonna make sure that there's no crumbs or anything left over. And as you guys can tell, the rug is still in really great condition. There's no stains or anything, so I will be donating it. So of course I had to call in some extra help because there's no way I could have gotten this rug up by myself. So Colton came to help and I'm just gonna roll it up really tightly. If you guys are interested in this rug, I actually purchased it from Wayfair and I will put a link in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. Now we're bringing in the new rug. Um, Colton's gonna take the tape off and everything. So this one I purchased from Overstock. I decided to keep it neutral, but I love the style of this one. It's really fun. I love the um, I love the geometric type of style to it, and I just thought it would be really fun for the space. So now that we have the rug down, we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in its place. And if you guys are interested in anything in the play area, it will also be in the description box below. Definitely be sure to check out my second Instagram page, which is Nitra B Home. I've been showcasing some different spaces on that page and I talked about the play area not too long ago and I'm gonna be trying to just link more items from my home over on that page so definitely be sure to check it out but now we're gonna spruce up the sofa a little bit I wanted to add some fun color and some Easter things so I love these pillow covers I got them from Amazon and they're exactly like the ones that I had on the couch before but they're just blue and I got this cute little um, pillow with ducks on it from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one of the two, but I thought it was perfect. I love the pop of blue. It really just ties those pillows together. And then I got this little throw blanket. You guys know I love to put a throw blanket at the end of the little chase lounge. I just think it looks super cute. So yeah, that's what the couch looks like. I'm gonna add a little bit of decor to this console table. Didn't wanna do too much, but definitely enough to just bring in that spring aspect and just a little bit more color and just, you know, make it really fun and bright. I love the little ducks and the carrots. I thought this was so cute. And when Uriah got home from school on this day, he was like, oh my gosh, mommy, I absolutely love what you've done with the play area. So that just made me really happy because I really want this space to be fun for them and for them to enjoy being in this area. 
And here's a quick little overview. So I like how I was able to add in those spring aspects and a little bit of Easter decor without it being too over the top. So we have this credenza where the TV is. I'm gonna add a few pieces here again, not too much, but just a few things to really just tie the entire space together. So here's a quick overview of the credenza. I think adding those small pieces really helped tie everything together. So yeah. Moving on to the kitchen, I don't really have a lot to do here. Colton picked up and cleaned the entire kitchen earlier in the morning, so I just wanted to rearrange my floral stems. Um, I love this floral arrangement. I love the way that it looks on the island. I got the floral stems from A Floral, and the vase, I believe, is from CB2, but I will try to link that in the description box so you guys can check it out. I've got a few Easter pieces that I wanted to add here. Um, so I'm gonna take away one of the books and I'm gonna add this little egg, which is actually a candle. I thought that was really cute. And then I'm gonna add these little decorative beads. They have little carrots on them and I thought that was so adorable. all the Easter stuff that I'm gonna add to the kitchen. I'm not really big on overdoing the theme unless it's Christmas, of course. But yeah, I just like to add a little subtle accessories to really just bring the season into the home. Now moving on to the living room, not a whole bunch to do in here, just some basic cleaning like fluffing the pillows from where we had lounged on the couch the night before. Um, but yeah, I love my new setup and I haven't really got a chance to talk about it a whole lot, but I love both of the couches. I love the living room in this setup. So the sofa I did purchase locally, but I'm going to see if I can find a link the sofa is by the brand Norwalk. That's the same brand that made um, our previous sofa and they have so many beautiful pieces. So if you're on the hunt for a new sofa, I would definitely recommend checking them out because I feel like they just have really great high quality pieces. So now I'm going to clean the table a little bit because it's got fingerprints all over it because Ezra loves to come in here and just put his hands all over the glass table and um, just little toys and things like that. So I always make sure that I'm cleaning this table at least weekly because if I don't, it just gets so grimy and you know, it has the fingerprints and everything all over it. So yeah, just cleaning this really good. And I've actually been considering getting a new um, coffee table for in here, but I just don't know if I can part ways with this one because I've had it for such a long time and I had to save my coins to get it because it was just such an expensive piece. But um, yeah, I've been thinking about getting something round, but I don't know. If you guys see anything that you think will look good in the space, then definitely let me know. I'm just gonna vacuum. This is something that we try to do every day just because the floors will get a hot mess if we don't, especially to the high traffic areas, which is mainly like the kitchen and the walk area through the living room, not so much this area, but I do try to go over this rug because it really doesn't take that much time. It takes maybe about five minutes to go over the whole living room area and also the foyer. So I like to do this pretty much daily. And now we're moving on to the dining room. And I don't think you guys ever really see much of this area. Um, we did revamp it. Um, it just looks so much better. But yeah, I'm vacuuming in here. I don't vacuum in here too often. 
um, probably once every two weeks. It really just depends on what we have going on. A lot of the times this area will become a catch all for packages. We just will put them here to kind of get them out the way. But I'm just loving the way that the dining room looks. I love the custom drapes. Drapes, we got those from Elaine Thomas Drapery and yeah, I just think it looks really great. So now I need to clean the foyer table and y'all, I absolutely love the way that I styled it. I don't think I'll be changing it for a long time because I'm pretty obsessed with it. Um, so I will have a link in the description box if you guys want to shop um, the console table. But yeah, I'm just taking everything off so that I can clean it. This area gets really dusty and I'm not sure why. Um, but I just like to use my Sprayway glass cleaner for um, all of my glass because it just does such a great job at cleaning everything and it doesn't leave any streaks. And I knew when decorating the console table, I wanted to use a focal point that had some added height. So that's why I decided to do this base, which has a little bit of texture to it. And I love the floral stems because they look so real. And I love to use just different home accent pieces to pull everything together. The wooden bowl I got from Amazon and I love the candle holders. And I just think it looks really nice for the spring and summertime. About a year ago, we completely redone this built-in and I love this so much better. Go and watch my before home tour. I'm gonna do an updated one just so you guys can see all the updates and just compare the before and after of everything but i love this so much but yeah it's been five years now so i think we're overdue for an updated home tour um but i'm just cleaning this little space don't know what to call it but i like to put these um floral arrangements there and i got these arrangements from cf home design i think that's the name i'll put a link below because i can't remember the exact name but i think that's it and we have these little display cases that Ezra likes to come over and put his fingerprints and everything all over. So I have to clean these pretty often now. And it was also time to clean the stairs. Our stairs get so dirty so quickly. And because they're black, everything shows up so much easier. And I like to use the Swiffer to get everything off the stairs just because it's lightweight. And I love how um, the little fabric thing just picks up everything. Sometimes I'll use the vacuum cleaner, but the Swiffer's a lot easier and it's really effective. Now I'm gonna add this beautiful wreath to our front door. I think this is so beautiful. And we got new doors if you guys haven't noticed. And y'all, I am so excited about these doors because this has been a long time in the making. I'm gonna do a video about the home updates and everything, but y'all, these doors, I was so ready for. But the actual wreaths I got from Etsy and I spent a little bit more than I wanted to. But the other day I was at Walmart and they had a wreath that was very similar for less than half the price of what I spent on these. And I had already gotten these and I know Etsy, it supports small businesses so I didn't wanna send them back. But definitely check Walmart if you're looking for this type of style of wreath um, because they do have something really, really similar there. And also from Etsy, I got this doormat that says the Pearson family and it's really large and it just looks so great in front of the doors. I absolutely love it. So I will link the mat and the, um, the wreaths in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. And the very last thing I needed to do was mop the floors. And I'm actually cleaning with Pond Sol. And this is how I can tell I'm getting older because I use the original Pond Sol. I used to not like the smell of original Pond Sol. I always had to use the lemon scent or something, but now I'm just like, 
give me the original fragrance because it just smells so clean and so fresh. So that's what I'm using in the mop water today. And that is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me video. I know it's been quite some time, but if you guys still love these videos and you want to see more like this, then definitely leave a comment, like the video, and just let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.